My name is Bethany Thomas. I work at Shady Creek Outdoor School, and I have Roja here with me today. Roja is a red-tailed hawk. She lives at Shady Creek. She's injured, so she can't be released into the wild. Today, we're gonna look at birds and the adaptations that they have to survive in their environments. Different birds have different structures to help them survive where they live. Let's look at Roja for a moment. Roja is a red-tailed hawk. They're carnivores, which means they only eat meat. If you take a closer look at Roja's beak and at her feet, those structures help her catch prey in the wild. Let's take a look at some other birds and the structures they have to help them survive. Hello, my name is Shannon and I also work at Shady Creek Outdoor School. Today we're going to be looking at some of the birds that we see around Shady Creek. Uh, we put out bird feeders, but if you want to make observations of birds, please don't feel like you also have to have bird seed or bird feeders. Um, it can help, but the best thing about birding is it's something that can be done anywhere. When you observe birds, there's some questions that you can ask that will help guide your observations. What do you notice about the bird? What is the bird doing? What is the shape of its beak? What do you think this bird eats? Let's take a look. So the first thing that I notice about this bird is that it's on the ground. I also notice that it is eating and its beak is short. It looks like it has a, a thick beak in a relative size to its head. And I believe that he is eating seeds. What do you notice? What do you notice about this bird? We've slowed it down so that you can get a better look. What do you think this bird's beak is adapted to do? How does the structure of its beak help it to survive? Okay, we are gonna take a deeper look at the structures that birds have and how those structures help birds to survive in their habitats. I have my assistants here with me today. These are my sons. Isaiah. And I'm Anthony. And they're gonna help me out by, uh, we're gonna focus on one structure at a time and at how it helps birds survive. And we're gonna do that by turning Anthony here into a bird. Um, so let's start off by talking about, um, well, what's one structure that all birds have? Feet. All birds have feet, yeah. Um, what are some different types of things that birds can do with their feet? Swim. Yeah. Run. Climb. climb and catch prey. Yeah, so they it all depends on what they're doing and how they survive, and that's the type of foot that they'll have. So um, let's go ahead. Um, Anthony, do you like to swim? Yes. Yeah, so we're getting to that swimming time of year, so we're going to give Anthony some swimming feet similar to the feet that a duck might have. What's another structure that all birds have? A tail. Yeah, birds have tail feathers. How, did that, how does that help them to survive? Well, balance. Helps them to balance, yeah. Like they steer while they're flying, like. Yeah, they rudder. need it when they yeah. fly through the air, absolutely. So let's go ahead and give Anthony uh, a tail, some tail feathers. Awesome. All right, Anthony, can you shake your tail feather for us? <laughs> nice. What is another structure that birds have? Feathers. feathers. Yeah, all birds have feathers. How does that structure help them to survive? Warmth. Keeps them warm. And to lift off the ground when they're getting ready to fly. When they fly, absolutely. So do we have an example of a feather over there? Yes, I turn. All right, we're just gonna put one feather in. We'll tuck it in right there to demonstrate that all birds have feathers. What's another structure that birds have? Wings. Yeah, all birds have wings. How does that help them to survive? Fly. fly. Helps them um, to fly. And it, well, for penguins, it helps them to swim. Yeah, because not all birds fly. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and give Anthony here some wings. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, there we go. So you just put your 
There you go, excellent. And one for this side. Give us a flap, Anthony. Yeah, all birds have wings, Don't wonderful. What is another structure that all birds have? Eyes. Yeah, and some birds have big eyes, some smaller eyes. It all depends on where they live and what they eat. So let's go ahead and put some eyes on our Anthony bird. All right, there we go. And what's one more structure that all birds have? Beaks. beaks. All birds have beaks, absolutely. What are some different things that different birds eat? Uh, seeds. Yeah, some birds eat seeds, so they have to have a beak that's adapted for cracking open seeds. What's another fish. thing? Some birds eat fish, so they might have a long beak like a spear. What other things do birds eat? Uh, they eat their prey. Meat. Some birds Meat. catch and eat, eat prey. Um, they eat animals, so they need to have a beak that's adapted for tearing things. Okay. So let's go ahead. Oh, you have another one? Um, and they suck nectar. Yeah, some birds are adapted for drinking nectar. So let's go ahead and give Anthony a beak. Wonderful. <laughs> All right, so if you would like to practice making observations on birds, these are some of the structures that you should look at. Ask yourself, what sort of things is the bird eating? What is it doing? And how are its different structures helping it to survive? All right, Anthony and Isaiah, thank you so much for your help today. You're welcome. welcome. All right. Thank you. Let's take a look at a few more birds that live at Shady Creek. Hi again, this is Piper. Piper is the Western screech owl that we have at Shady Creek. She is also injured and non-releasable, so she helps us teach the students that come here about structures that birds have. Piper, just like Roja, has a beak and feet that help her catch food in the wild, but owls have some other structures that help them survive in their environment. Owls are most active at night, and one of the first things I notice when I look at Piper are her eyes. Her eyes are so big. Her eyes are different than yours and mine. They're built so that they can see better at night. Owl's eyes are so big in their head that they can't turn their eyes around. So she can't roll her eyes if she gets annoyed at me. <laughs> yeah. What owls do in order to see what's going on around them is they can turn their head really far. Now you might have heard that owls can turn their head in a full circle. I've heard that too, but owls, can only turn their head 270 degrees each way. So that's three fourths of a circle. They can see their, the whole way around their body, but they can't turn their head the whole way around their body. What allows them to do that are the bones in their neck. Yeah, their necks are structured different than yours and mine. They have more bones than we do. And those are just some structures that owls have to help them survive. So this is Conrad. Conrad is our turkey vulture. He is also injured and non-releasable. Conrad is different than the other raptors that we have here. If you take a look at his feet, his feet are not made for catching live prey. Turkey vultures are scavengers, which means that they eat things that have already died. But his feet are very good for walking around just like a turkey. So Conrad, also has wings that are different than the other birds we have. Turkey vulture wings are structured differently. They're nice and wide, nice and broad. It's really good for gliding. Turkey vultures often glide from thermal to thermal. And the thermal is just a pocket of hot air that helps push them up higher into the sky. And since they're just gliding, they don't have to flap their wings and it helps them save energy. All right. Well, you might have noticed today that we didn't spend a lot of time trying to identify or name the birds that we were observing. If you're interested in learning more about birds, spend some time observing what they do. Pay attention to their beaks, pay attention to their feet, pay attention to the things that they do and the things that they eat. You will learn so much. If you'd like to find out more about birds, visit allaboutbirds.org. It's also a really great place to bird watch through some of their webcams if watching for birds is difficult at your home. All right, thank you for watching everybody. Happy bird watching!